Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Authentic Uprising podcast. I'm your host, Jill Simons, and I'm so excited to grow in the radical art of standing in what God says about you with you today. The show is a place where we pour into the sense of who God is, who we are, and how we can live more in the freedom that He has for us every single day. It's prayer day, you guys. Welcome to the Authentic Uprising podcast. You know, third Tuesday of the month is my favorite because I love that this we get this time to pray together. And so this month, uh, our theme is this idea of being bold in our faith and really letting our faith be something that we lead with in our everyday life. And we all have um, some version of a lie that keeps us from feeling like this is a safe or okay thing to do. So we talked at the first episode of the month how, you know, it could be that you still have some doubts and that are those are kind of lingering and you don't feel like it's very authentic for you to share until those have been dealt with, or it could be that you feel like it should be private, something that's really, you know, just kind of between you and God and not something that you lead with in the rest of your life. Whatever it is, whatever that lie is, we're going to let the Lord speak into it today through a specific time of prayer where you can really have an opportunity to just be with him, listen to him, and let him tell you what it is that's going on in this front. And if this is a form of prayer that's unfamiliar to you, uncomfortable to you, I really encourage you to check out our Hearing God Speak workshop at the Uprising Academy, which is linked in our show notes and in the YouTube description, which is just a short, inexpensive workshop about how you can hear the Lord's voice in prayer in your life more regularly, more predictably, and really have a lot of confidence come out of that that is so powerful in renewing your faith. And that's why it's we've been talking about that kind of specifically a lot this month, because so often what people struggle with in faith is this feeling like, but I don't even know, I can't even hear him. It feels like I'm just sitting in a room talking to myself. If these times of meditation aren't really yielding fruit in terms of being able to hear the Holy Spirit speak to you, there's some very concrete things you can do to learn those skills. This is not something that, you know, I, I've i had um, mentors tell me in the past, you know, it helps no one to say, oh, you'll just know, oh, you'll know when it's the voice of God. No, it, you won't necessarily know. We need to learn these things. Um, It reminds me of when I was first learning natural family planning, which is a method of just um, really being able to discern with God how you want to space your children. And the first version of it that I learned was very much this like, oh, you'll know what your body is doing. I had no idea. That was the most unhelpful thing. And my first two children are the result of the fact that I had no idea what was going on. So praise God for my ignorance because they're the best children ever. But at the same time, not helpful to just say, oh, you'll know. Same with the voice of God. Um, Maybe you will. Maybe that has been your experience, but that's not a reasonable expectation. These are actually skills that we need to learn. And that's why we put the workshop together is that um, there's very concrete things that you can try, do, pray through to help you grow in awareness of what the voice of God sounds like, um, discerning his voice versus other voices that might be going on in your mind, and um, just kind of all the pieces of the puzzle that go together. So, One last encouragement to check that out if um, these prayer episodes are not yielding the kind of fruit that you really want to see in your life. They absolutely can. And it begins with being confident and being able to hear the Lord speak to you through these times. So without further ado, let's pray about growing in faith, growing in boldness, growing in consistency in who we are in all areas of our lives. As we begin this time of prayer, I just invite you to really mirror what you're wanting to happen during this prayer time with how you position your body. 
And so much of what we're talking about this month is being receptive, being open to receiving faith from God and from the Holy Spirit active in our lives. And so I really love personally to sit um, in a chair or on the floor with my legs crossed and my open hands resting on my knees. Not because this posture um, has any particular power or anything like that, but because this is a posture that allows me to be physically aware of the fact that I am not the one bringing this about. I'm receiving from the Lord and he is pouring into me and onto me in ways that I am so thankful for. Go ahead and find your own comfortable posture of receptivity and close your eyes. As we so often do as we begin to pray, we just start with the thankfulness of that breath. Thankfulness for the beautiful way that God created the interplay between the air and our lungs so that we could receive what we need without even engaging our brains, without even um, having to seek a special cocktail of oxygen. The fact that this is just an automatic process that God created to sustain us through every day of our lives. We just open our mouths and our noses and receive the gift of air that perfectly fills our body with what we need. We're just so thankful for the Lord creating us with such intention and such beauty to function in this way. And so just as we're receiving the gift of the way that our body works, the way that the air nourishes our body, We want to apply that same thankfulness to the gifts of the Holy Spirit in our lives and our hearts. Primarily the gift of faith. Just as we receive that oxygen simply by opening our mouth to it. We know that we also receive the gift of faith just by opening our hearts to Jesus. And so as you pray... I invite you to just allow the Lord to fill you with his gift of faith the same way he is filling you with oxygen right now. And so we just pray with the breath as we move through this, breathing in and as we breathe out saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the gift of faith. It's from this place of thankfulness for what we've already received that we want to ask the Lord to speak into and minister places of unbelief, places of doubt, that might still exist in our minds and hearts. And so we just echo the prayer of the father in Mark 9, 24, the father of the young child um, taken by demons. When he says, I believe, help my unbelief. So I invite you to just repeat that a few times to yourself. I believe. Help my unbelief. Now we're just going to invite Jesus to illuminate any places of unbelief, any places of doubt that still exist in our minds. And so as we so often do, we're going to fix our eyes on Jesus. We're going to imagine him with our eyes closed and our, on kind of the, the screen of our imagination. 
letting him speak to us, invite us, minister to us, be present to us in a very real way in our minds. And once you have him there on the screen of your mind, I encourage you to put yourself there with him so that you can interact with him, look him in the eye, ask him questions. And I want you to start simply by looking into his face and seeing the way that he is looking at you. How is the Lord seeing you right now? Even with whatever doubt, whatever unbelief, whatever lack of faith you feel like you're bringing to the table. How is he seeing you? What are his eyes saying? Maybe he's speaking to you. What is he saying to you right now? So from this place of relationship and closeness to Jesus, I invite you to ask him out loud, Jesus, what doubts do you want to speak to in my heart right now? What fears do you want to speak to in my heart? you to just receive the answer to that. Feel free to pause the podcast at any time to spend more time listening or sharing with the Lord. The next thing I want you to ask him is again out loud, Jesus, What truth do you want to replace these doubts and these fears with? Let him teach you the truth. When he shares that truth with you, I invite you to claim the truth by verbally saying, in the name of Jesus, I declare the truth that, and say out loud, whatever the Lord shared with you, whatever he had to share with you as truth to replace those doubts and fears that you brought into this time of prayer. to turn back to Jesus and we want to say thank you. Thank you for the truth. Thank you for coming to me. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you for providing for me. Not just the air and the body that I need, but the faith, all of the gifts of the spirit that I need to grow in community and closeness with you. Thank you, Jesus. And as you come out of this time of prayer, I encourage you to write down both the doubts and fears and the truths that Jesus shared with you. These are your personal, um, really marching orders from the Lord. This is what he wants to speak into you in your life right now. And so the best way to magnify the effect of that in your life is to also exert your free will to speak into those places in your life as well. To renounce the doubts and the 
the fears that he shared with you and to declare the truth on a daily basis that this is what is true that the Lord wanted me to know the Lord wanted to share with me that is one of the best ways we can magnify the effects of these times we have with the Lord in prayer by really pulling our own will into um, relationship and into union with what his will is to share with us right now that is a powerful powerful thing to do and I really really encourage you to take advantage of it doesn't have to be hard doesn't have to be time-consuming you can write it on a post-it note and stick it on your mirror just own those things that the Lord shares with you I hope you have the most wonderful week check out the uprising Academy if you haven't already as well as all of our items new in the shop this month that have to do with really stepping into this gift of faithfully I love you, I'm praying for you, and I hope you have a wonderful week.